Yo, what's happening out there gamers? My name's Roll Easy and I'm here back on the channel with a very important video that everybody needs to see. All right, you guys gotta listen. It's a lot of information, but I've been meaning to make this video for a while now, like at least a month or so. We just didn't have many car duplication glitches uh, to really, you know, touch on this subject. It wasn't really worth it. But we are stacked right now with money glitches, you know, solo car dupe glitches, all that stuff. So. I think it's a really good time to actually start educating you guys on how you need to be selling cars. So with that note, here's the title. We are going to be going over the daily sell limit. All right. A lot of you guys have been asking me recently too, like oh, what about custom plates? Uh, what's a daily sell limit? Things like that. And I'm going to touch on every single freaking thing. Last time I made a video on this, I didn't even have a hundred subscribers yet. If you look back at my old videos, I was at like 80 subs when I made a video on that. So I think it's, uh, it's about time to actually make something new that I can reach out to a lot more people with. All right. So all the information is basically the same, but I'm going to go over it in a little bit of a different manner. I will have screenshots on the screen of like really important, you know, info and things that you guys are going to need to know if you don't, you know, if you kind of get lost while I'm speaking and you got to, you know, and you get lost in the gameplay. So what is the daily sell limit? The daily sell limit basically is the amount of cars you're allowed to sell in one day. All right. One day equals 30 hours in GTA. That's not 24 hours. It's 30 hours. Okay. Rockstar implemented that to make it a bit trickier to actually sell cars in a timely fashion uh, and make the max amount of money. So the history of the daily sell limit and, you know, dupe detection, which is huge, you know, dupe, a lot of people are asking, what is dupe detection? Well, what dupe detection is, is when you actually sell too many cars or too fast, you know, too many cars in one day or you sell too many cars within a certain amount of time, you can get dupe detected. And uh, yeah, so there's a threshold that you guys don't want to pass. OK, the threshold is 60 minutes. All right, so the 60 minute threshold means that if you sell more than two cars within 60 minutes, your your account is going to get flagged, all right? It gets one or two markers on the side of uh, of your name basically in the Rockstar uh, servers. Now what that means is that they know that you are overselling. They don't know you're selling dupes. They just know that you're overselling. So, in the gameplay right here, I'm going to show you exactly how I sell my cars. These are the recent dupes I've been making. They have custom plates on them. They're all clean. The way I know they're clean is because I go to my plates right here and make this a habit. If you can see all your custom plates, that's a clean car. Okay, you aren't dupe detected or anything. That is a very clean car right there. So what you saw me just do is I actually changed the plate. This is why I recommend when you sell cars, never or don't sell the same plate too many times, even if it's a custom plate. So I drive out after I change the plate. I wait for the little orange save icon to turn, you know, to start turning at the bottom right. Then I go ahead and drive it back in and you're going to see that I just sell the car right here. I make almost a million bucks and I did it nice and safe. It's a clean car and I'm 100% sure. Make that a habit guys to always check if you have your plates right before you sell a car. If you have your plates, it's a clean car. It is safe to sell. If you don't have your plates, that's a dirty dupe. You don't want to sell that car. Okay. Uh, if we had a clean, dirty dupes glitch, I'd say clean it, but we don't at the moment. So you're going to have to, I'd say overwrite that car. It's a dirty dupe. Don't sell a dirty dupe ever. All right. So what I'm doing right here is I'm actually going to sell another car back to back. Now I don't recommend this really too much, but I've been doing it for a little while and I've still been clean. No plates have been taken away. Nothing like that. So if you want to sell cars back to back, you can do that, but only in one hour, 60 minutes, real life. All right. So in 60 minutes, you can sell two cars max. If you sell any more than that within 60 minutes, like I said, your account's going to get flagged. Okay. That's very, very important. So what does it mean when you get flagged? What happens when you get flagged? What happens when you get flagged is you actually start raising your exploit level. Now this happens in the background for a little bit until you actually notice that something's going on. It's a little bit of a trap that Rockstar is putting you in. Basically, what's going on is if I were to sell three cars in one hour, boom, I get a little marker next to my name. All right. And this is being a dirty player. It's even worse. If you've gotten your plates taken away before you've been dupe detected before, if you're clean, you still get a mark by your name. All right. And you start raising your exploit level. I'm going to show you on the screen right here what the exploit levels are. So if you're level one, you're basically going to be allowed to only sell 10 vehicles every 30 hours. Now, you wouldn't know this unless you actually, you know, sold 10 or uh, uh, 10 vehicles and then you went to go sell one more in 30 hours and realized, oh, crap, I just hit my daily sell limit. So that there, you know, you're a level one. All right. And level two, three, you know, eight and then six cars, you know, every 30 hours. Once you get to level four, five and six, 
that's when you actually really notice that you're dupe detected, okay? You are officially dupe detected if you're at level four, five, and six. Then they know you're selling dupes, basically. Uh, even if you're selling real cars, you're still kind of considered dupe detected, basically. So, level four, five, and six, what happens at that? You actually lose your custom plates. But as you can see, you could still sell five cars, four cars, or three cars every 30 hours. So you can still make uh, a shitload of money, even if you are technically dupe detected and you have no custom plates. Problem is, if you don't got custom plates, you can't do certain glitches, all right? There's two types of glitches. Uh, two types of car duplication glitches, I should say. You have merge glitches, and you also have carbon copy glitches. The solo money glitch that we have right now uh, with the SP to MP glitch that I posted, I'll leave a link down in the description and the pinned comment of all the money glitches that we're doing right now. Uh, that solo money glitch when you're online as Franklin and stuff, that's a carbon copy glitch. That's why you need custom plates, because the game literally copies the same exact car with the plate and everything. If you duplicated a car with a generic plate that didn't, that wasn't custom, you know, you didn't order it off of iFruit or anything like that, those cars are dirty. You have the same generic plate on both, on, you know, multiple cars. Those are all dirty cars. If you try to take those into LSC, you would see that you have no custom plate options. That means that they're dirty. Okay, if you were to sell one of those, just one, if you sold one dirty dupe, you are officially dupe detected, you've lost your plates, your privileges for plates on all cars after that every single car okay so that's really really important you guys have to realize that you do not want to sell dirty dupes so this is actually the car duplication glitch I was talking about right here the solo one you need custom plates for this just like the Sultan glitch where the Sultan stack where you change your um, your MOC to weapon and vehicle workshop you need custom plates for that it's a carbon copy glitch okay but we actually it's actually a, a better one because you're changing the plate well if you have custom plates like I do I change the plate for every dupe so they're even more safe after that so that's a really cool glitch because of that fact now there's other glitches the two-player retro glitch that far crew found uh, where you know your two players in the bunker you have to have the same bunker and you duplicate a car for each other and you know it goes back and forth you just help each other out that one is a merge glitch what a merge glitch is you actually get a fresh plate from the Thagio or the Elegy that you're overriding. All right, so that gets that brings that generic plate over to your new car. So every single new dupe, you get a brand new generic plate. None of those are dirty; they're clean from the start. You don't need custom plates or anything. Merge glitches are the best because even for dirty players, dirty players can do merge glitches and sell those cars in peace, basically, unless you have a crazy daily sell limit that you need to follow. But uh, yeah, so we've gone over the exploit levels. Now, something, uh, here's, here's what you do to avoid hitting a daily sell limit, basically. If you want to avoid it, never sell more. Like I said, only sell two cars within one hour. So that means never sell more than two cars within 60 minutes. If you sell three or more, you're going to get flagged, all right? And also, you want to space each car sale by 31 minutes, all right? If you want to just sell two in one hour, wait a few hours, sell another two, wait a few hours, sell another two, you can do that as well. But you need to make sure you're not selling more than eight within one day. That's 30 hours, guys. So one GTA day is technically 30 hours real time, all right? So the way that you want to calculate this is say, you know, say you start selling cars at you know one o'clock in the afternoon all right so that means one o'clock the next day is 24 hours you have to add another six hours to that so that'd be 7 p.m the next day that's a full 30 hour period within that 30 hours you can only sell eight cars max i actually only recommend seven cars especially if you've been dupe detected already so that's the way that you want to calculate it and once that 30 hours is up it's up. The only time that that 30 hour period starts over again is the next time you sell a car. All right. So the second, like if you don't know that if you're still within a 30 hour period of selling cars, just stop selling for 30 hours. If you stop selling for 30 hours, you've reset it completely and you're good. Now, the next time you sell a car, that 30 hour, you know, time frame is going to start back up again. All right. So you sell one car, boom. 30 hours is going you can only sell seven more cars after that max until that 30 hour period is over that's the way you want to calculate that now a safe way to do it actually is your first 30 hour period you could sell eight cars your second 30 hour period go ahead and sell seven cars 
your third 30 hour period, go ahead and sell six cars. You can do it that way. I've heard some people say you don't want to do weird patterns or you know things that they can track. I used to do it that way and it was perfectly fine. Now I'm kind of just sporadic. I sell like four or five or six cars every 30 hours. Nothing crazy at all different times. You know, I got a lot of money and I love this account. So I don't want to see anything happen to it. So I'm not trying to get dupe detector or anything like that. Uh, so that's the way that I would kind of recommend actually selling the cars, okay? So we're also going to go into what happens when you sell too many and you're like 100% dupe detected, you're past the exploit level 7, you're actually a repeat cap offender. A repeat cap offender means that you've hit, you hit your daily sell limit once, say for example, and then you went to go, you're like, oh, it's, a, it's no big deal, let me just keep selling cars. You hit your daily sell limit again, like you take your, LS, you take your car to LSE and it says you've reached your daily sell limit. You're technically a repeat cap offender. There's two levels I'm gonna leave up on the screen right now. Repeat cap offender level one and repeat cap offender level two. If you're a level one, you can only sell two cars every 30 hours for the next nine months. I think that's actually changed. I do believe it's a year now, so it's actually for 12 months. So you're forced to literally sell only two cars every 30 hours for the next you know, year. That's pretty crazy. If you're a repeat cap offender level two, even worse, you can only sell one car every 30 hours for the next you know 12 months or or a year basically so it says no cap recovery but i've known people that have actually recovered from this they just completely stopped selling cars if you don't want to deal with that if you're a repeat cap offender you know if you know you got a daily sell limit that's really low just quit selling cars if you want to just you know raise your sell limit which is what we're going to talk about right now how to actually raise your sell limit say you are dupe detected say you got your custom plates taken away say all that stuff happened to you and you're like, just what, what do I do at this point? Stop selling cars, guys. You need, it's, a, it's addicting, I know, but you gotta just stop selling cars. If you wanna keep doing dupe glitches, I guess, you know, for the fun of it, but don't make dirty dupes and stop selling cars and make sure you don't have any dirty dupes in your garages. If you have multiple cars with the same dirty, you know, generic plate, write over those cars with anything, with a street car, with a free elegy, buy over them, whatever you wanna do. Get them out of your garages the game can, can detect that you have dirty dupes in your garages. So I've gone over a lot of stuff right there. I think I've basically touched upon everything, you know, the types of glitches, you know, all the exploit levels, how you should be selling, uh, you know, what you need to avoid. But um, yeah, man, I, I really hope this was helpful to you guys. It's information that not a lot of, you know, YouTubers touch on, but I really felt like you guys needed to know all this and the history of it and why it actually started. And what you should do from now on, okay? Follow these rules. If you need to rewatch this video, go ahead. If you need to write this stuff down, I recommend writing it down. I'm even gonna leave a link down in the description on the um, the article that was written and the whole thread that was written on Seven Sins, where this information came from. Big shout out to Nick Gore and his team. They're the ones that scavenged through all the game files and they actually found all this information out for us to uh, to release it and let us know what Rockstar did without us really knowing. You know, and they try to kind of sneak it under the rug. Since we can look at the game files, we figured it out. So thank you to those guys. Thank you to everybody who supports the Roll Easy channel. Uh, I hope you guys keep duping, man. We're going to have these glitches probably all of Monday as well. But Tuesday, I guarantee you, like I almost 100% guarantee you, 90%, if not 100% of these money glitches will all be patched. All right, maybe not the Sultan glitch. That thing just keeps living on. It never dies. But the majority of these glitches are going to get patched. Okay, so take advantage now. We're only going to have one more day after this. We got tonight left, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so thank you for watching the video. I'm real easy here. A lot of information. I'm almost I'm out of breath here from talking like that for so long. <laughs> but uh, yeah, some great information here. Follow it down to a T. Rewatch the video if you have to. Uh, you know, hit that subscribe button if you're brand new to the channel. I got awesome videos like this with crazy information and uh, a lot more cool stuff on the way. All right, so... Uh, apart from that, I guess drop a like on the video as well. Hit that blue thumbs up if you really want to support the channel. A like really goes a long way. I'm telling you, I, I really do love that stuff. Uh, go ahead and turn on post notifications if you haven't already for the freshest and the most informative, just like this video, the most informative, dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody. Happy duping and be safe out there. Peace.